Okay, we are at the Hub Radio, man. I got your boy Hub City Dre here. And I got my guest of the hour, the lovely, the very talented Ashley Breger. What's up? What's happening? How what are is you? Good. I am excellent. Fantabulous. Yeah. I, mean, you know, I was just looking at the reel, right? <laughs> with you um, singing at NOLA's. And I actually show that to a lot of people that come through here because mm. I like really, really, really enjoyed you singing that version of a Beyonce song. Wow. Like I, I literally, when you were singing it, I was there. I literally got chills. Shut up. No, I'm not, I'm not even lying. I'm not even bigging you up because like I, I can't do that. But <laughs> no, I, was, I really, really enjoyed it, man. I put out the iPhone and we recorded it. And I was going to mess around with it and kind of put it out there for people to see. You should. And, 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 I, and I will. Appreciate I will. that. Really? You know, do I, I, absolutely, absolutely, and I've been waiting to hear more from you. Right. So now we got some music, we got some things to talk about, we got some things going on in Miss Brigade's life. Back with the sickness, man. <laughs> <laughs> with the quickness, sickness. The quickness, sickness. <laughs> and another thing, I didn't even know you was from Compton. Yeah, man. You was from Open it up. Yeah. <laughs> No doubt. What school did you go to? I went to King Drew, man. Okay. I'm what, an Eagle. 06. I'm an Eagle too. I went to Bourbon Day though. Okay, so you was kind of like next like, door. I was next around door. the corner. Yeah, yeah. So now we got um some some uh, singles or yeah. a single that we are working on or that we have together, mm -hmm. and we're going to be releasing it on iTunes pretty soon. Mm -hmm. It is called Destination Reel. Yes. Tell me about this Destination Reel. Um, when I wrote this song, I was in a place where I didn't really have anybody to call mine, so it was just a song about navigating through, I guess the the world of love, and I just wanted to. So your own, you that. mean like boo? Yeah, like a boo, like, like having a, somebody to call my own. So just uh, basically talking about finding the right guy because I've come across so many guys who just have not been right so this was just me putting it out there okay. pass me on up if you're not with it if you're not with the goodness so that was that was what the mind frame that I was in at the time gotcha when did you write it uh maybe like eight months ago Okay. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, you took some personal uh, mm -hmm. situations. And I try to do that with all my writing. Okay. It so. It's better when it comes from the heart. And I, no I notice when I sing on stage, if I have an emotion to connect to, people believe me more. It comes off as believable. True. So true, I try to write true. things that I've experienced. Oh, uh, I can see. Yeah. I can see. Now, this destination reel, it was, was it about one person in particular or was um, it a collective effort? A collective effort. Okay. I mean, just, I, I haven't really talked to many guys over the years. I've been so focused on music in school. Yeah, I'm not trying but, to paint you out to be. Oh, no, you know. no, no, definitely. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell a story. It's just, uh, things that I've observed through friends or through family, just going through the motions with relationships. And I wanted to make sure that if I put my time and effort into some one person, that it would be the right person. Uh, so it's not, we're not going to listen to it. And then, you know, some dude's going to hear and be like, that's all about me. Nah, man. Nah, okay. nah. <laughs> all right. Why don't you bring it in for us real quick? This is Destination Real on the Hub Radio. Check it. Y'all. Trying to slow 
Cassie Bajay is in the building. What's up? Ashley has a huge, huge, huge event that, not event, announcement that she will be announcing in September. Mm hmm. Something that's really major going yeah, down. Man. Like yeah. something that they're super excited about. Right. Oh, That God. we can't talk about right, right. now. Right. It's just, I don't even understand like, how I how I got it. I, I don't know. You just never expect for things like this to happen to you. Right. And I'm super grateful. I'm thanking God every day. Because this, I mean, we can't talk about what it is. Right. But we can say that this, this right here is going to be like one of those... Major milestones in your life? Defining moments, definitely. This is like one of those defining moments. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> We're going to see something happen, right? And yeah. This, and yeah, people you gonna will see. And people going to see it like, woo! You will see. Oh, man. Wait I'm a so minute. excited for you guys to see. Oh, my God. I heard this on the Hub Radio <laughs> first. What? Right. What? I'm here first. <laughs> Listen, I am here first to let the Hub Radio know, my city, Compton, yes. that I yes. am coming for you. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to ask real quick. As an artist, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I asked you this before, but as an artist, what do you enjoy most? Is it writing music, recording music, performing music, mm -hmm. or listening to your music? I think it's definitely recording music. Okay. Definitely recording music. I feel like I go through so many emotions when I'm recording music because I have to tap into a different place of my brain. Mm -hmm. And I do that with writing as well. But like I said, I've only been writing for, what, a year and a half, two years. And um, I wrote Destination Real, like I said. But when you get in the booth and you record, you have to really think about what you want to come across as. I don't know. That's a different feeling for me. And it's nothing better than listening to yourself on tape, of course. But like when I'm in that moment, I just love to sing. So singing, anytime I'm singing, whether it's in the church, whether it's in the shower, whether it's around the house, whether it's for happy birthday, I'm like the ultimate happy birthday caller. I love, I just love to sing. Singing okay. is My birthday is just, on April Fool's Day. Just really? FYI, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. April 1st? Yeah, April 1st. You were Aries. I'm an Aries. Oh, God. Real though. Oh, man. It's real over here though. <laughs> <laughs> Aries dudes ain't that eyes, bad though. Real money. Aries dudes ain't that bad. Aries hey. girls. Well, you know. Mm -mm. You know what? It's funny that I I've never dated an Aries girl before. My cousin, my one of my cousins who's close to me in age is an Aries girl. Hell growing up. <laughs> Absolute hell. Yeah, what, would, what's your sign? Oh man, I'm a Capricorn. So that's in January. January, January 15th, Martin Luther King's birthday. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that's a, that's a good date right there. Greatness. Yeah, that's a good date right there, man. And you got. But in this girl. business, you got to be tough. You got to be hardcore. Gotta have thick so skin. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it get it tougher. Speaking of the industry and having tough skin, have you come up against any situation as to where like maybe you didn't fit the criteria or oh, the? Oh wow. Because we know the the vocals are there. Yeah. We know the talent is there. Yeah. Has there ever been a time where you've been like rejected because something else was not definitely okay. all the time since I was what 14 really starting to, to shop my music to labels uh -huh. I think the first thing I heard from someone from Jive was I'm too dark skinned for the label we don't have room to market someone who's you know oh, that sure. color I don't really know wow. how to appeal to the masses when she's dark skinned how do you say uh, that yeah he didn't tell me he told my manager but of course my manager tells me right you know right, this, right, and right. I, I need to know these things but I've been told was I've been over, at, overweight was that coming from a a black person or no definitely not that's even weird okay go yeah, ahead yeah yeah i've been told i've been overweight my teeth need to be fixed uh i can sing but uh, all kind of stuff anything you can think wow. of but like i said you can't let those things defeat you that's one opinion yeah so and it, it's a struggle i think everybody experiences it but you uh, yeah Maybe? all the time overweight i'm too thick you have to think about market size is like a size three four i'm definitely not that like i'm very in tune like with my curves like I, You're a black woman. I, true, true. But you this have the skinny minis out there. The picture that we're bringing up for y'all right now. I mean, look at this. Like, yeah, I don't see nothing overweight here. We're we're good here. Like, we're solid. I'm not three a size three or four. That's that's the size. What and size to are me, you? Ah, uh, if on a good day, maybe like a eight nine. Okay. Yeah. On a good day. Yeah, on a good day. <laughs> if I don't eat too much, if I'm not all in the food, right. I'm trying to get myself right tone. But yeah, a eight nine, okay. and that's that's too big. Supposedly, I don't know. Yeah. Mm, it's tripping out See, here. black people, we different. We yeah, different. we are. We think curves are the, are the best thing, but when you think about on TV as 10, 10 pounds to, you know, television, 
That's what they say. Man, they say. I, I, I've seen dudes tweeting about Lady Gaga's butt. Right. All yes, right. all last night and today. Like. I didn't even get a chance to see it, but is it big? I mean, she has a nice. Yeah, she has a nice. It's nice and supple. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, better than Miley Cyrus's. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I had a crush on Miley Cyrus. That just ended. Oh like, man. At the awards, I'm like, what are you doing? You didn't enjoy it? No. What? No. Did I didn't either. It? Yeah, I saw it. Uh, it was a bit weird for me. It was weird. It was. It was very weird. weird. Yeah. Like, uh, and then somebody posted a picture of the Smith's face, mm-hmm. Will and his kids. Yeah. And like, they all were looking like. Like open mouth. Like, yeah, what was, is this? <laughs> what is going on? you, Miley. I think you might have blew it. <laughs> Dude, uh, I, I definitely appreciate you, like, just being here, coming through. Thanks for having you know me, what man. Saying? And and, and rapping. I didn't rap it for the hometown. Hey. Singing in here. Can I get you to sing us a song before you go? What you want me to sing? Hmm. Baby, I love you. You are my life. The happiest moments were complete if you were by my side. You're my relation in connection to the sun. You next to me. There's no darkness I can't overcome. You are my raindrops. I am the sea. You and God, who's my son, that it blooms and it grows so beautifully. Baby, I'm so proud, proud to be a girl. You make the confusion go all the way from this cold and messed up. I am in love with you. You set me free. I can't do this thing called life without you here with me. Cause I'm dangerously in love with you I'll never leave Just keep loving me The way you love You're loving me That was dope Thank man. you Thank, Thank you, you very much for that man. Thank I, you You ever had briefs thrown at you? Grapes? Briefs No Briefs You know most people Most women throw panties I'm in. waiting for that moment Girl I was, I, You damn near had some briefs Wait. In this. You, damn, you damn near had some briefs in there You don't don't even know. You even Shut know. up. <laughs> Ashley Virginia is in the building, man. Let's Y'all make get. sure you follow her Instagram, Twitter. You got Twitter? Instagram? I got a Twitter. Ashley is official. Remember, no E. Right. Right. E is for the Easties. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ashley Virginia. Compton Brigade, in the man. building. And you do know it, man. Her radio will be right back. Hey. If you do know it. <laughs>